Hi buddy, it's Julie here and I am back with a new book review and a little spread in my TN book here. And this time, surprise, it's a new Agatha Christie book. <laughs> um, so this book is called The Moving Finger and um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I love the adaptation they have done on the Agatha Christie, Miss Marple and Poirot, obviously, but um, read Geraldine McEwen. I think she is amazing and I know there's a bit of like hmm, some like her some doesn't whatever I love her and I have seen this movie so many times and um, I think it's really interesting when you come from that direction and then go over to the book uh, obviously it's going to be different um, I, it was the same when I read um, what was it called a murder is announced or advertised or whatever I don't know um, yeah anyway so this is the moving finger and uh, it is about uh, a man called Jerry and he is being injured in the book it's about I think it's a fly injury uh, or a crash so he is sent down to Limstock with his sister so he can um, sort of get involved in the community and in the gossip and sort of focus on that instead of his injury so he can get time to heal and that is doctor's orders and uh, so they go drive down to Limstock and they rent a house and um, they get prepared to sort of get involved in the village gossip and you soon realize that this uh, supposedly sleepy little town or village is not so much. Uh, there are some nasty anonymous letters floating about uh, but they seem a bit odd because they don't really ring true. Usually these sort of anonymous letters uh, point out love affairs and and that sort of thing um, but these letters doesn't which is really odd. Uh, and the Jerry and her sister they get some letters true too but they like I said, it doesn't, uh, they seem really odd and doesn't make any sense. So um, soon there is a murder, <laughs> but in this case it's a suicide. Um, and um, yeah, and her daughter, uh, they invite her to stay with them because Jerry is starting to fall in love with her. And she's really, really odd. Uh, I think she is like 10 years her uh, younger than he is, which is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, she is really odd and a bit awkward and uh, she is more like 14 instead of 20 and yeah. Um, in the movie, I think it is uh, Tilula. oh my gosh, what is her last name? I don't remember. Um, she plays this woman and she does it, I think she does it really, really well. Uh, anyway, so... It, uh, Jerry, he sort of decides he's going to investigate and find out who is the, the sender of all of these letters and he sort of, he starts to suspect everybody and in different sort of uh, <laughs> to and fro he is like, well, it has to be him or it has to be her. Um, but then in the end of the book, uh, a character I think everybody recognized, Miss Markle, she comes about and uh, she fixes everything <laughs> and she's like it's how it was so uh, a really fun movie and I really like when you have both the book and the movie and you can sort of compare because there's a bit difference uh, Miss Marple get a bigger a much bigger part in the in the movie obviously because she's popular um, but yeah I think it, I mean, I really like them. I think if you have watched my other books, you know, um, I'm a big Agatha Christie fan, so it's no surprise. Uh, this spread I did to illustrate that I have some green printed adhesive fabric that I put down and then made it sort of like a steep hill. I have some houses there to illustrate the village. The moving finger are in different letters to illustrate the poison pen letters in the book and the movie. They cut uh, different uh, letters from a book paper so to have different font uh, and then a typewriter because that is one of the clue in the book uh, and then I typed my journaling with a 
uh, typewriter too. So anyway, that is my thoughts on the moving finger. I definitely recommend the movie if you don't want to read the book because I think it's really great. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.